Okay, it's, uh, it's been a crazy day. Just got back from PA shooting with uh, Isaac's birth mother and birth father. Wait, what? <laughs> and, uh, favorite part of the BTS, Ragnus is getting his boots ready. We have, oh, I'm just gonna show half his body. Uh, this guy's here. He plays a role. Um, yeah, this is Ragnus' last day. See you up. Goodbye. How's it feel? Goodbye, cruel world. You guys all hated me anyway, so <laughs> hope you're happy. It happens so quick. I'm actually, uh, uh, it's kind of bittersweet. I'm kind of sick and tired of uh, getting up in this costume all the time. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's a lot of work as they, too much light. So as they saw in the behind the scenes earlier of you getting ready. But at the same token, I'm going to kind of miss the character. I mean, the character is pretty fucking sweet. I don't know if I said on BTS, but Arachnid, Abraham Arachnid is my favorite character. I, he's the most, there's so much depth. And I really, I love all these characters. That's the fucking hardest thing. But uh, Arachnid is just one of those ones that's like, he's so, there's so much depth to this dude, man. Yeah, I was rooting for him. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's another character that. <laughs> all right, guys, we're heading to Haven. Uh, this is our last time in Haven, also, which that's exciting as well. Um, wish us luck. We're shooting, finishing off episode 22 of Tangled Web. And then we're starting uh, episode 23, Judgment Day, the climactic finale, somewhat. Um, but there's still an episode after that. It's at a little motion, yeah? Uh, trying to. Trying to. Well, yeah, I'm kind of a. This is my fucking game. I want to be the Overlord. This is my game, Overlord. I want some fucking recognition for once in my life. You want to know what my wish is? What is it again? <laughs> you want to know what my wish is? You're next, Joseph. I'm gonna fucking kill you. I build everything. I wanna get paid. Five million in cash, that's my wish. I never had anybody in my life. Fuck the line. I just want someone to love. I want somebody. I just want somebody to love. I never had anybody in my life. I just wanna know what it feels like. Did I just fuck up? No! I never had anybody in my life. I just some want. I knew it too. I never had anybody in my life. I just want somebody to love me. I want to know what it feels like. That's my wish, Joseph. No wish will be granted while I'm still standing. That's a nice, really nice... Uh... <laughs> yeah, exactly. God damn it, I waited too long. You destroyed everything! Shit, my bad. I went Sorry. the wrong way. But your damn stubbornness and pride. Fuck, what was the last thing? Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, hold on. I forgot to fuck it. Power going to your head's the last line. Yeah, you've lost your mind. You lost your mind. The power's going to your head, Art! Oh, fuck. The power's going to your head. No, the power's... <sighs> fuck me. I keep wanting to yeah. say... <sighs> Was it worth it? What's the second one? Was uh, it worth losing it? Your losing family. your whole family. Killing me won't fix anything. Yeah. Was it all worth it? Losing your whole fam... Losing all your whole family. Oh, fuck. I, I stumbled over... Complete. Freedom. This is what you want. Not the real thing. Yeah. Alright, reset. Yeah. What the fuck? What the fuck? What is this shit? You rigged it so Isaac can't die? Nah. Uh, nah. I can say the same for you. I could say the same for you. Uh, <laughs> I could say the same for you. Everybody. Say that, come again? Here, let's do this. Fucking let's do like an died. Instagram shot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's just doing it. We're like. God, this popped off quick BTS just because, like. You know what it reminds me of? It <laughs> reminds me of uh, that movie with the. Uh, the, the guy in the group. We're the three best friends. Oh, the hangover. <laughs> Overlord, hand to the servant.
No, the other hand to the Overlord. You promised me naked girls and like tons of XP and Haven's this beautiful place. What is this? Hell? You ready to get bloody up, by the way? Yeah, I'd have rather. So he's getting Jesse bloodied up. Um, now you want Jesse to bloody No, I just don't you want you to put it in my eye. Yeah, don't let it drip in his eye. It burns like a month. But guys, uh, we're in Haven right now. This is our last night in Haven. This is actually the end of the game. So Arachnid is dead. Like, how's that feel? I'm out. Like, you're not going to be. Arachnid's not a thing anymore. I'm kind of happy. He's kind of happy about it, guys. You guys don't understand why. You should have saw me struggling with all my lines. Hopefully, they get a taste from the. Uh, Hours of BTS they get to watch. Yeah. And they're like, oh shit. That's his hook, Jess. And you know what? His nipple here needs more blood, too. My nip is showing? Yeah. yeah. Yo, that's cool. <laughs> so not only is this erected, this is also the servant and slash overlord and uh, is ending. Somebody you guys don't know. Oh. Is that actually John Haggerty right it there? It is. Huh. Nah, it's my fucking dad, guys. Stop fucking around. I'm going to tell. I just decided to tell him, finally. It's my dad, guys. Stop playing with my nip, Jesse. Look how legit that looks. <laughs> we got a final convo between me and my dad here. It kind of feels a little Star Wars-y Darth Vader shit. Um, oh, and shit. then that's all she wrote. Go. Dad! Oh, there was supposed to be a witch! <laughs> what? I've come all this way. I've come all this way. This is what the end is. Eve. I want you back. I just... I just want to talk. Alright, so. Oh. <coughs> Jace, that's a series wrap. Like, for real, for real. For this dude, Jeff Ridge. I, I mean, I mean, Corey. <laughs> nah, guys. You want me to show his face at all? I'm doing yeah, it to you. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna show his face. Actually, this should be the first time. So we blur it and cover it and hide it the whole time. This is the makeup artist. Hey! Oh, and Nate? guys, yeah, that, right? Uh, Nathaniel? It's short for Nathaniel? Something like that. Yeah. He's Australian. He actually flew him up because he's actually a trained actor, guys. That's why he was so fucking good, guys. I gotta, I gotta just, like, say this on... You're fucking gifted, bro. Yeah, like, dude. dude, you came out... He, he, he's... He's so fucking good. He's flipping through voices. He nah, does the really. prosthetic on his fucking self, guys. So nah. this was this is one of those things where he helped us with prosthetics and makeup and stuff for characters for other stuff. This is the first time where he's gotten actually like an inclusive role. He fucking killed it. I liked it. He, it was great. You killed it, and so, you killed that guy over there. So yeah. While we're showing him, you might you might see more of him. You might Maybe. see him around. But uh, thank you, bro. I really appreciate you, it, you, dude. You fucking killed it. I want to fucking do more shit with you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But For guys, sure. let him know how much you love him in the comments below. Whatever, That's dude. The Overlord, aka servant, aka the my beast. dad, aka <laughs> all of everybody you named. But I, I'm trying not to get emotional because, like, guys, these characters I create, they're fucking all going bye bye. There's more coming, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Can, Everyone... can you do the Doctor Phil real quick, please, before you leave? Doctor Phil. Okay, today we're going to go over why the uh, season was probably one of the best. Okay? Okay. How about that? Oh, hey, the love comes back around. Thank you, man. All He's right. got to get out of here. 
series wrap piece. We got two quick shots to film, and then, uh, guys, that's it. That's all we're shooting until uh, after a white E. Where's that? It's, uh, I think, hey, uh, some island. Oh. Love you, Nick. God bless. Godspeed. And keep it rigid. I, I moved my eyes. Up the man up. And that's a wrap. Up the man up. God, I've been laying down here for how long now? Oh my gosh. Ugh. Guys, that's uh, cramps galore. I think I've been laying down there for an hour and a half now. Yeah. Oh my god, you look at the bloody blood on him. He looks, he looks. Look his face. Dead. He looks more dead than I used to. You're right. You died. Guys, so. Uh, this is for everybody that wanted me dead. There you go. Yeah, it just happened. How does it? How do you feel now? You feel yeah. kind of shitty, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Freaking killed Uncle Larry. That's what you did. But guys, that is a that is a series wrap for Arachnid. Yep. Not the alter ego, but Arachnid. <sighs> yeah, kind of missed the character, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Ah. Uh, go ahead, guys. Uh, hug. Go ahead, hug. No, nah, hold on. Uh, I just wanted to say something real quick, but like I don't know, because while I'm while I was feeling raw, guys, I like. I legit, legit broke down doing <laughs> doing Isaac and, and, and doing uh, the Eve thing. Yeah, because yeah. you know you get attached to the characters. Not only from like I obviously me from the writing perspective, but um, playing it out. Mm -hmm. um, and when I don't know, I find that like why we always did improv is because you you tend to let unleash more when it's scripted. It's very much structured, and you can't feel it as much. I find. So when I, I just kind of freely just was kind of shouting out in Haven, Isaac didn't get his wish. And, you know, it's a metaphor, you know, uh, you know, you can't bring people back. And this series that has been based on grief and wanting your loved ones back that the anti-climax at the end where he fights tooth and nail to get everything and live his life a certain way. And he doesn't get what he wants in the end. I but I still don't think Isaac's kind of blind, though. Yeah. Because he had a moment with his dad and he was still worried about his wish. He wasn't worried about the present. He was worried about the past. And the most fucked up thing is his dad's then going to be gone. Right. And he didn't get to cherish that moment with him. He was still worried about yeah. trying to get back to a certain part of his life that is no longer there. Um, but, you know, it was both a, a, a journey feeling for the character. But, like, I didn't fucking think we'd make it here. <laughs> it's a long, long time strenuous tenuous yeah. all kinds of yeah so like nice. props to this dude honestly for oh putting on the the tats <laughs> putting on the tats a lot of work because the... we, we we talked about this on the couch oh yeah right we, after we... it was after uh the streamies yeah yeah when you came back and we came up with this so he was there on the conception of it so to be here now oh, yeah, yeah. at the, end of, at the end of it, which I didn't think was ever even going to happen. Yeah, because it sounded so ridiculous. VR series, like, yeah, yeah, it sounds great in theory and all this stuff, gangsters and all this shit. And to be be here now, it's wild. And, like, it's one that you guys might not appreciate as much. But for me, it's like, this is a big deal. Oh, yeah. It was a great series, too. And, and it was one that you were also uh, very tentative to get yeah. into because you knew how difficult it was going to be. Yeah. But it just goes to show everybody... Don't be scared to try. Right? Yeah. I mean, you, you you went into it and you you yeah exceeded. Yeah. I and the crazy I surprised myself, which was a big deal, because you know coming off the Psycho series, I was like, that's the best I'll ever do. And although the views haven't been there, guys, I, this is one of my favorite series. It might be my favorite because it's just like uh, it's a lot of depth, a lot of special um, characters and important themes that I, I want to get across to you guys and. Uh, it was at a time where I was really depressed, and and you know what? We ain't done yet. <laughs> <laughs> We're just getting started, but give me my fucking moment. But yeah, guys, it does, it does, it's important, you know, and why we document the behind the scenes and the creation of it. You don't see this too much, but um, you really have to try, because like yeah, you said like don't like don't be scared, and don't be. But if you do feel scared. That's also okay. I was petrified. I almost ran the fuck away. Didn't do it. I didn't have a cameraman. I, you know, I, I didn't know what the fuck to do. We had to hire him and get all that shit. And then, and then YouTube started to getting demonetized and all these things fell through. But my heart kept saying, you got to tell this one. You got to tell this one. It's so good. Like, I feel like people will get some value from it. And, uh, it's been a great series. Now we're at the end of the road. So, uh, we still have two more episodes to shoot. I mean, we just finished some of the 23rd, but, 
We're off to Hawaii, which is great. I'll probably cry oh, a yeah. fuck ton in Hawaii, and, and, but I think that's necessary so, so we can then mourn the loss and then... Swift on Hawaii? I think yeah, 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 I'll be there. Oh, shit. Uh, we're we're no, sitting I'm next to each kidding. other on the plane. You yes. didn't know that? Just, well, I'm just kidding. Just so. kidding with you, man. <laughs> 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 but guys, I, I'm kind of mentally... Fu- I gotta, I'm going to be editing all day tomorrow, and then we got to fucking leave, and we're filming all this other... Blah, 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 blah. But, uh... I think we got we got everything we needed, and yeah. we got Nick, and we got Nick yeah. for the whole night, which yeah. I wasn't sure. We he started squeezing. He's a we, busy man. He's a busy man, and guys, it's hard. It's hard scheduling. I think you heard me complain about that before, but uh, hey, you take what you can get, and you do whatever you got to do to tell the story. Even it's hard. Even it's hard. Even if it's complaining, just we just gotta get this, get it captured. It lasts forever. Love you, Jay. Use death. We'll see you in the next BTS. Keep it rigid. Jesse, can't wait for you to watch this later and be like, I'm such a pussy. No, you're not. <laughs> but then so watch can't it. Let your emotion out. Yeah. But then watch it later and be like, yeah, I see you. I see you. All right. Let's clean this. Got a lot of shit. Yeah. Are, are you guys leaving? I'll, I'll just clean the shot, shop we up. We already did this well, joke. No, 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 no. But yes, who's going to clean all this mess up? Oh, then? yeah, that's definitely you. Needless right. to say, I feel bad for Arachnid because yeah. uh, I fucking beat the game, bitch. Yeah. Ah, I beat Arachnid. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Hey, underdog, right there. You also wrote it. Hold it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, these guys wrote it. Was there a version where Arachnid won? Like, legit? There? You guys will never know. Ooh. Yeah. Just walks away into the darkness. Seriously, what? Bum, 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 bum. Bullshit. He was all fucking lying. Oh, what's up, man? Yeah, fucking... What are you doing right there? It stayed really long, very long, but. Ah, <laughs> blooper! <laughs> That's alright, it's alright. Okay. So I can't stay very long, okay. but I wanted to see you. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so. I- Is this really you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Snap. Yeah, if you say yeah, that's I, I, totally fine. But then it's. I can't stay very long, okay. but I wanted to see you. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I, fu- I messed up the line and it messed you up. <laughs> I know. It's like, where were you? All right, let's do another dryer on here. All right, ready? And here we go. I've been in your fucking line. I've been with you this whole time. I know you have. I couldn't have done any of this without you. Do you want to go see Dad? I can't, Isaac. I can't stop. What? Why? I, that, that's not fair. <laughs> I wish for you back. I wish for you back for good. That's not how it works. Please, Eve. Like, you're everything. Like, you're the light of my life. I need, I need you. Like, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't there. It's not your fault. It's his. Look, I don't know. I don't know what I need to do. Like, what do you want me to do? Did you hear me? You should pay for this. What? He used to pay for all of this. He used to pay for everything. And then just remember the eyes that you grab. Isaac, kill him. Yeah. Isaac, kill him. Him? Kill who? The spider. Yeah, he's a spider, and then he's like, he's to blame for everything. He's, he's to blame for this. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Guys, we just snuck a BTS because we didn't want to figure out because we're filming BTS. That's how we. That's. That's how we do it, guys. <laughs> the kids, kids have the most rich memory banks ever. Like, rob those memory banks. She's super talented. She's like. Four, five, six years old, guys, and it's crazy. She's a natural. That's called luck of the draw. <laughs> She's just really good. Um, but their memory is so good. It's just sometimes they get a little bored and they have to run out and or do something. Sometimes you gotta get them, keep them incentivized, like a like a small dog. <laughs> All right, guys, wish us luck. This is our last break. All right. All right, you ready to you ready to rehearse one more time? Yes. All right. Yeah, I can work. <laughs> Kill him, Isaac. <laughs> All right, let's let's get one. 
so whenever we have like a harder scene, she always needs like, and yeah, I get it, dude. I'm the same way. When we're about to do a hard scene, I'm like, okay, let me eat some food real quick, or like let me go walk away or use the bathroom. It's like it's like scary. I'm talking. To, you want to talk to BTS real quick? Say hey, what's up? There's people in there. Hey, what's up, people? Yo, what's up? Kill him. Oh, stop. Yeah, they just laugh. They laugh. They. I didn't. Yeah, sorry. Right. Stop. <laughs> Ghost cough. <laughs> All right. So. Kill him. No, it's his fault. It's his. Uh, you hear me? It's his fault. And then yeah, I know you want to just grab me. <laughs> yeah. So, did you hear me? It's his fault. I lived in your heart and mind. I don't want to do this whole time. Let's go a little bit louder. I've been with you this whole time. Not too loud. Yeah, all right, all right. I've been with you. I love you. Right, all right. We... Hold on, hold on, come back. Just do one. What the fuck? Get the fuck up! Fuck come on, me! Come on! What get out you? What do you got problems? And then there's another line, and I can't remember it. <laughs> Isaac just wanted to play the game by the way. Stop! Well, I'm the stro- Enough! Blah, 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 blah. I know, I fumbled before you. <sighs> you broke every fucking rule in the entire game. What happened to structure, Joseph? Enough, Jordan? Abraham. You want that anarchy? All right, well, that's fuck. <laughs> fuck! Keep walking. What's your problem? Turn <laughs> Turn around. You motherfucker, you rig- oh. Just like you fucked up everything else in my fucking life. <laughs> Jesus. Up shit, the fucking goddamn fucking line. The game, the game. Jesus, Abraham, what are you gonna do with that? That fucking. It's identical to Eve. Nothing gets more immersive than this. You're going fucking crazy. The game's corrupted you. No. We're not in the fucking game anymore. You sure about that? This looks like. Uh, fuck. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry. Your dad smirked because you bumped it, like pushed it to <laughs> He was like, he felt physical contact. <laughs> yeah. He got excited. You, know, like, <coughs> you can't do this, Abraham. You can't do this, Abraham. I thought you believed the people could put. Could, uh, it's, it's my philosophy. It's my world. My son will prevail. <laughs> I'm sorry, because no. None of this matters anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Not too long. Wait till he's completely floating, just like on Isaac was. Go. Recording. Yeah, that does that, guys. Um, rush, rush, guys. We got seven days to shoot before we leave for LA for two weeks. Some reason you're not focusing, dude. <laughs> I mean, it's mosquito control just blew some shit all up in here. But we're we got seven days to shoot. My final two episodes is the, the gauntlet. <coughs> Joseph, Joseph just died. His creation just killed him in a matter of speaking. Here, let me um, get his towel real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't Here, worry you about take me. that. All right, let's get inside. That shit's fucking. <coughs> yeah. Legit, like spraying pesticides while we filmed this. So it's probably not good. Um, but yeah, Joseph's dead, guys. It's been a long day shooting. We got more days to shoot. We just got back from Hawaii, all jet lagged, all fucking hell. We got Martha's death scene to shoot <coughs> right now. Um, and then. Yeah, I don't know. We'll probably shoot the other music video stuff before we leave for Abraham's final battle tomorrow. Um, just hell on earth scheduling over these next seven days before we leave. Because we got, we got the live show in New York City, which just got finalized. I don't think we're doing one in L.A. Um, but yeah, we all messed up because of Hawaii, guys. But 
hopefully we get everything shot in time so we don't lose momentum on the channel. We don't lose uh, your guys' engagement in the series, especially when things are at their pinnacle. Um, but yeah, guys, we uh, Joseph's dead. He died in the pool. The whole thing is like, why the fuck did Abraham shoot him in a pool? It's one of those things just symbolically that like, Oh, it's like Psycho Uncle Impact's pool. A little Psycho Series throwback. Kind of like this in this series, the Uncle Larry character does complete the murder of the Jeff Ridgeway Psycho Dad character. You know what I'm saying? Quick question: Why should you <clears throat> get shot at the end of a series? Uh, well, everyone dies in this one, so I don't think there's any relevance to that. But um, it's it probably goes back to the hero's journey. If you're gonna do a hero's journey where like underdog dude goes into the end and becomes a hero at the end. People gotta die. The important mentor characters gotta get killed off. So it's like Uncle Larry in the Psycho series got killed off just as much as every ally to Psycho Kid. This one is like, and it's 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 why the hero's journey arc exists as it does is because like in order to truly test somebody, you gotta take shit away from them or just challenge them in any way possible, and that's what hap is happening to Isaac. Um, there's like a million and one different reasons why. The pool thing, maybe I'll talk about it in commentary, but uh, we gotta get rolling, guys. I was inspired by, for, uh, I mean, Breaking Bad has a lot of inspiration for some some different scenes, but this one especially, I love, it's loose inspiration, but um, it was like, was Ozzy Mandias that episode, if you guys really know Breaking Bad, so there's a scene where Hank and Gomez are fending off the uh, the uh, drug druggies, and all of a sudden the episode starts off with Gomez already dead. <laughs> I remember that episode. It's like, it was like, Yo, what? Like, he's just already dead. Like, he, he was like a character throughout the whole series, and then he just, they didn't even show his death. It was like, what? So how are they going to do that? And then Hank dies. Spoiler alert. I hope you guys didn't have already seen it, but um, I just always liked how they did that. I was like, kind of start off the episode like, oh, wow. This is kind of messed up. So Martha's getting that treatment, but she's just already dead. Um, some people have theorized that Martha was the one in VR when Isaac was in Haven. Um, but now this just seals the deal. Poor Martha. She's right there. She's been waiting. Uh, she's stark. You can't really see her. Oh. Uh, now you can see her. So you ready to die, Martha? I'm ready. Evidently, though, it's not going to be a dramatic, <laughs> a dramatic one. And she leaves comedically as well. Where it's just like, oh, she's dead now. You know um, what they say? If you don't got a brain, or if you ain't got a brain, you can't yeah, die. Yeah. Apparently. You can't die. Yeah. You ain't got a brain. Yeah. But so she said. I guess we shouldn't trust Martha at all. That's right. But I guess that works for taking off the helmet, but when it comes to a, a headshot in the game, I guess the brain, there's still something connected there. Bye, Joseph. You made a good game. Oh, I blinked. Fucking yeah, your hair, your wig, yeah. your hair piece here. I did see it. I looked over there. I was like, oh, oh, shit. Oh, I got fooled when I looked over. Was that good, too? Yeah. Mother <laughs> Gold <laughs> gun thoughts it's still in your ear. Uh, uh, oh shit. Yeah, die again. Dang, you know, that, I'm feeling that one too. <laughs> Jesus. That was my stomach. So, did we squeeze did we squeeze that out or I I'm alive! No, you what? Ain't. She dead, guys. She dead. Y'all killed her. Nah, you guys saved her life just so she can play a, right. play a great purpose later on. So that's, I, I would say, a series wrap. Guys, this series is a little confusing where it's not traditional in the sense where characters die and they're dead for good. Because there's three layers, you know? There's, Wait, is there really? Yeah. yeah How come you never three, told me this? Uh, yeah. So it's, yeah. Are we three here? layers? Three layers. This is news to Martha. We know because we already shot stuff in Y, but there's a third layer. There's a third layer. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, <laughs> but you guys know this, but it's trippy. So, like, this normally would be a series wrap for Martha. In a way, it is as far as, like, the main story arc of My Virtual Escape is about the first two layers. And then the third layer is kind of just there for big twisty and for the messaging and all this other stuff so we'll see her again but as far as martha's arc of like wanting to end her life miserable whatever purposelessness kind of other side of the coin of isaac finally she fulfills she gets to go to haven how was haven oh beautiful was it yeah does everybody want yes. to go there i saw everybody <laughs> What she all really, my loved ones. All she really saw was Arachnid at the end of the, at the other end of a gun, <laughs> and then gets headshotted. There, I, there was originally going to be a line of Isaac in Haven where he's just, where he's like, well, "This is it." Yeah. So Isaac says, "This is it," and then gets headshotted. I ended up cutting it out because I didn't want any 
hint that this was Martha. Um, but that's really, a good, that's a good call. Yeah, because people would have looked into that and been like, "Why? What was yeah. that about?" Yeah, and then that would have gave it gave it to him. Exactly. So this way, it's like it had boom. To look forward to, to yeah. The next first first yeah. five seconds of the episode, Martha's dead. Like it's gonna be wild. I can't wait to see you guys' reaction. But uh, yeah, she wanted to. This started with the bathtub. I remember people were always like, "Why is Isaac being forced to take care of this elderly woman?" With like, what is People thought it was irrelevant. Like, I don't like these scenes because I feel like it's just random. Jesse just mm -hmm. threw these in here for filler. But really, it was to show, like, on all ends of the spectrum. You have a little girl, Solomon, who wants to escape her life. You have middle-aged people wanting to escape their life through Joseph, Abraham, whatever. And then you even have elderly people who want to escape whatever means, whether it's using pills. It just shows every possible person or character that might want to mm -hmm. escape their life. But Martha also showed that, like... Even at the end, it can very much, you can have similarities with older, you know, because people, especially teenagers, they're like, oh, you know, our old people suck or whatever, but it's like, yo, guys, they ain't I, so no, different. No, no, us old people are very interesting. Hey, Jack, exactly. you're actually only like 38. Uh, that's right. That's right. That's exactly. right. That's true, yeah. guys. Um, so, yeah, guys, Martha made it to Haven. She got to die, which is what she wanted, and this is something that. I was surprised Aunt Jackie was asking, like, wait, she was asking about the referring to the bathtub scene. Yeah, if you guys killed Martha, mm -hmm. she'd be dead. She'd be dead. Oh, the, we, <laughs> Thank you for saving <laughs> Thank me. Thank you for Because honestly, we had comedic relief throughout her having her in the house. It's been great. I remember I, I wasn't sure. I thought maybe, I thought you guys would kill her because it was a pretty convincing argument. I thought, oh, she's face value, wants to die. Let's have Isaac give it to her. Right. But you guys look deeper into this thing and we're like, that's not right. She has more potential. She has a lot to live for. So I'm proud of you guys for making that decision. And we had comedic relief throughout most of the series. And she gets to save Isaac and help him out in the end so right. he can get his wish in Haven. So wait, if she wasn't here right now, who, who would have And that's the thing. Him? It's like, all right, Jesse, you got to tell us something. If, if Martha died in the bathtub, this obviously wouldn't have, a lot of things wouldn't have happened. So what's the deal there? Obviously everything shifts. But there was, oh, I always wanted somebody to take the place of Isaac uh, just because I thought it's great shock value. It's craziness, big twist where Arachnid wins, gets his wish. So somebody had to take Isaac's place. It was, in one version, it was going to be Adam. Adam gets blown through VR with the EMP and comes to here and then meets up with Isaac in real life. And then Isaac, or Adam takes Isaac's place in this. And then Adam's dead. Um, or there was going to be, I think there's another version where it was going to be Noah. Mm -hmm. Noah actually helps Isaac out and, and Arachnico. There's a, so many different mm -hmm. branches to this thing, but I'm pretty happy with your guys' choices and what we ended up getting because Martha, Martha, I think, is a fan favorite, which is pretty cool. And I, I well, and I thought uh, Martha and Isaac. Yeah. You know, the, the two of them together really had a, like, they hated, not hate, but they disliked each other, but yeah. yet they liked each other. There's little bunny heads, and yeah. like, oh, Martha, yeah. and you're just like, oh, Isaac. But then I think there were there was some cool moments to see with those two characters. Um, but thanks for making that happen, guys, and thanks to Aunt Jackie yes, for thank playing, you. playing awesome great Aunt Martha. Oh, yeah. it, it, it'll be kind of iconic, and uh, these characters might be ending with the series, but who knows what the future holds. And But yeah, guys, it looks like we have everything scheduled. In a BTS, like literally an hour ago, I was like, I don't know what we're gonna do. I don't know. Everything's scheduled, guys. I think we're set, and we're gonna get all these. Every my virtual escape will be done shooting in the next six days, Swift. <laughs> Woo! And then I got edit. You know. Ah! Isaac. Oh no, I'm supposed to say Isaac. No first. <laughs> Please don't. Hold on. It's judgment day, motherfucker. Abraham! Let's fucking go. Well, bring it! Sorry. 
Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Is that too wide though? Remember, we don't want. <laughs> I keep doing that same thing. Ready? Ready. And go. Yeah, a bit too long on me. Hold on, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> 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 oh, sorry, wait a second, I forgot. Tight on this, yeah. Yeah, I'm playing the end of the pillow. And then remember, you shoot up to the gun before it's chopped. Ready and hold on. Just in my mind, go through it. Yeah. <laughs> Judgment day, motherfucker. <laughs> Whew. I was like, number one, as long as this goes nowhere. Huh. All right, Chase. At least we'll have a sweater. Yeah, exactly. So it'll look more more legit. Huh. I'm going to take a nap now, guys. It's been now, real. Now this thumb popped out of joint on that one. There? Yeah. <laughs> oh. It's, it's getting, we're, we're running on the gun. We're running on the clock here. Archie's waiting to get his his and he come up. Be, and he's gonna be pissed. He's gonna be cranky. Yep. But when he gets here, I think he'll feel it and be like, oh, these gentlemen are yeah, they've been going through here. He's like, I got no room, because we'll go off on be like, yo. Yeah. Shut the fuck up, look at me. Yeah, and this is right now, we still got more. Alright. We're just like, keep bridging. <laughs> Yeah. Hold on, that's a hug. Oh! 
So you headbutt somebody. <laughs> 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 Did it hurt uh, too? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, brain injury 2.0. I was at, please. Was like, I was like, Did you actually hit him in the head? Yeah, we actually oh, yeah, right here. Yeah. Alright, well, I won't watch that back, but I liked it. But the, right. the one punch after the headbutt might be messed up Hopefully because he... you hit me. Yeah, and it was. And I wasn't ready for it after that. Hopefully, I you stayed on, on me. That, that was the, the game plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's if see. If he fucked that one up, I am going to punch him. Right, Guys, stop. we'll get that on video if that happens. <sighs> Game over, Abraham. Go. Yeah. I'll make my own fucking choices. <laughs> Game over, Abraham. I make my own fucking choices. <laughs> yes, you have a question? <laughs>
That's a BTS. Nobody, nobody move before we can actually get whatever's dripping off you before yeah, you. Yeah, good call. You, There's you, a splotch right there, right on the. Oh, well, I got a little yeah, blotch. I'm not worried on. about that. I'm worried about what's dripping off of them. You got, got a nose? You want to hit my phone? Oh, Others is pretty contained. Come on, with us. That's a, a three cop pile up right there. Oh shit! Somebody. Oh, you are okay. He one's fine. Yo. Wait a second. I know you. Yeah. You have Mikey Mabs. I put your house up for sale once. Yeah, I haven't forgotten about that, and you dude. You talk shit to me on Twitter all the time. Why do you think I fucking brought you here just so you lay here covered in blood for fucking five hours? Yeah, we'll get your ass back soon. Uh, you're the one laying on the floor. <laughs> uh, You'll be laying on the floor soon. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, well, that's what you say, dude. Huh? Be careful what you wish for. Wait, what, are you gonna tweet me some bullshit again? I mean, We're straight up, I hope you didn't expect to get credited in this. <laughs> if you're gonna credit me, I might have, you know, given it some extra views. Hey, Jess, quick question. Wow. I'm just wow. kidding. Wow. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, guys, we're totally cool. Like, we love each other. Like, it's, it's all good here. Um, who the fuck now. is this? Yeah, Are you Drake Duffner? Yeah. Can I get up or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I ain't touching your hand. Huh? Dude. Yeah, you can get up though. Yeah. I would never shake your hand, man. Yo, are you wearing this cop wearing Gucci <laughs> shoes? <laughs> yeah, well, I got a pay raise. That's it. Oh, shit. Nice. I'm a sheriff now. Nice. This is, uh, so, this is our cops here. I don't know if you guys uh, recognize everyone here. If you do, you get bonus points. This guy. Yo, I think I recognize you. I forget for what. Who, and then that cop who got headshotted. You look. I don't. I don't. I, all these guys I recognize, Uncle Larry. Do you know who these guys you can't are? Take the Gucci's. I don't know who these motherfuckers are. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll go ahead and just try not to get blood all over this shit. Is it one that related to uh, Candace, aka Rebecca? What? Uh, look, I'm the cop that wears my socks. Is that? Yo, you mind if I throw one? But these guys came last minute to be cops. They just got really bloody. Got banged up. And we love them for that. So, How's the back of my head so show some love to these gentlemen. Good. Feeling pretty good, guys. I can't wait for this series to be over and uh, it'll all be a memory. Archie, no! You'll never win. What? Ah! Ah! All right. What's up? Ah! 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 And go. <coughs> Uh, I didn't like my fall. It's filming Judgment Day still. Uh, it's been uh, like seven or eight hours now. Just bloody fight. Uh, we faked it. We started filming way earlier in the day and we put canvas like we did in Haven to make it seem like it's nighttime. I ain't gonna stay. But uh, this is the fake fire poker from when uh, Isaac killed Jesus. And now uh, we foreshadowed this like a million different times. I ain't gonna stay. Um, Abraham's gonna get the fire poker treatment. But yeah, it's been a bloody mess. It's been crazy. You guys are probably wondering how the hell we did all this. Uh, it's pretty much just blood, sweat, and tears, literally. And just uh, messing shit up. So. This is how we roll. If you're wondering how we did the wounds, I mean, it's just a lot of bloody odor off Amazon. Mm -hmm. um, it's called Mehron, M-E-H-R-O-N, for those looking for that shit. And uh, if you're wondering how the hell we made it look like that and that, literally just get some dirt, get some dirt off the ground, put some blood on the face, put some dirt in there, cover it up with more blood, and you'll get some scab in, look at some crazy shit. Um, also, if you sweat a lot, it'll end up running on the blood together and it just looks crazy. Um, oh, shit. Archie? You! Oh, oh okay, he's good. Oh, so, so. Right. He's good, guys. Oh. So, yeah, he's literally just laying there. So you're wondering, like, wow, attention. For an hour. Yeah, if you remember, because I remember people were like, wow, they even had Solomon in the background of the one shot and he was dead on the desk. It's like, guys, like, that's how it is. Like, you want to get that nice shot? The talent, man, they, they got, we go through hell to tell you this story, guys, and uh, we really hope you appreciate it, get the lessons. Um, there's, there's so much that needs to be said, but I can't cover it right now, so we gotta keep rolling, but this is that moment, uh, Arachne was talking shit, he's like, oh, that compassion, I'll kill you in the end. He just showed some compassion to Isaac, walked Damn, away, yeah. and now he's getting the fire poker, which yeah. is, there's so many little symbols and shit going around town. Uh, this is it's cool stuff. Um, I'm gonna stab him with a fire poker. I'm gonna go crawl over and die next to Archie, and we're all gonna fucking die together. Cause that's the ultimate escape, my friends, is death. But we do gotta figure out how to. But we do gotta figure this shit because out, Because that has to be at the at the back of it.
And I gotta remember to somehow get the spider over there because the spider's been by the fire poker. I feel like we should have got the fire poker grab. But you know what? We can get an insert of me grabbing the the poker over there again from when that, and then we can see the spider in the foreground. We gotta get that shot. I literally said to myself, I was like, can't wait to get this done. Pack the bags. We're off to Hawaii. Yeah, sweet. Again? Yeah. It, yeah, he said it. Guys, guys, remember the chronological nature of this? We're, we have it. We already went. We, the week is. We, we did already. Wait, happen. so we're not going back to Hawaii? No, nah, because yeah. we originally this was supposed to happen before Hawaii, and we fucked up. So the, my brain is still not comprehending that it already happened. But uh, we got like four days left to shoot in the series, guys, and then it's all said and done. But we get this day done. The rest is easy, easy peas. It's just slim pickings. This is not. But this fire work is just not cooperating. It's not working. Dang it! Is that, are you good? Yeah, you're, right. getting, you're getting the. Alright, stop. Go. Ah! Let's restart because I saw a switch. Squad 23. <laughs> BTS! <laughs> Captain Phillips just got locked away in there. Looks like a pretzel. Dang, yeah, I'm surprised you got him in there. Oh, he was, there. He was helping me a little bit with his legs because he was like, oh Dang. shit. Yeah, that's it. He that's a. a uh, he was like, Uncle good. Larry's gonna break my legs right now. <laughs> that's a serious wrap for All Buzz, right. guys. Uh, out, Captain Buzz. Phillips is done. Uh, he's the most unexpected hero that we all didn't know we deserved. We didn't even know we needed. Um, but yeah, he's our moderator for this layer. And uh, he helped Isaac and Malachi get the fuck back to where they should be. Um, well, so how's it feel to be done? Feels great. <laughs> well, that, good yeah. stuff, bro. Yeah, hey, it was Thank a pretty you. good series. I mean, Hell yeah. I got to play as a cop. You know, I was kind of wish I got to just, like, shoot people down and beat, 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 beat the shit out of people, but... That's in a sequel. Hey, at least, uh, yeah, at least I didn't get my character to get killed off like long Exactly, yeah, exactly, dude. Out. Just got knocked yeah, out. Yeah. I got knocked out. And you off. saved the day, so yeah. that's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, so if you notice, it's t the time of day is different. And as you guys know, I kind of like to give you guys tips and stuff for like when you're creating this kind of stuff. It's hard to match time of day. Sometimes availability is tough. Uh, I'm going to try and, and do color correction to make it look like a different time of day. Might not look right, but... Um, you gotta do what you gotta do when you're on a timeline like this. Luckily for a lot of you guys, take your time with this stuff. Still set deadlines for yourself, but you don't have the pressure of a massive audience waiting hand and foot, so you have more ability to experiment and do whatever the heck you want and take your time doing it and really perfect it. Um, so by all means, do it and do it well. <sighs> Archie. Yeah? Archie, you all right? What the fuck's up, little buddy? Yeah. <sighs> I thought you were dead. <laughs> My ass feels like it's been dead. Are you still alive? I don't know. Welcome to Haven. This is Haven? Yeah. Cause it's Uncle Larry's cooking. <laughs> Abraham? Fuckers, you think you want to grill him? <laughs> He's still got the fucking weapon in him. <laughs> oh, Larry, I'm glad to see you back. <laughs> Larry. <laughs> Larry. Wait, what? I thought his name was Arachnid. Uh, Arachnid. Swift? Hi. Gingy? Yeah, what have you been doing Gingy, here, man? What are you doing here? Oh, uh, I'm here. What did you do to us? <laughs> you don't want to know. Oh, shit. I was filming this uh, TV show called My Virtual Escape for YouTube. Oh. And, like, you guys were playing characters. and oh, Let's yeah, get so Archie up. Happen. Oh, man, this shit's all stuck to the that. hair on my... We gotta get an Instagram oh. photo, bro. Oh. Uh, I, don't, I don't think you, you can actually shave. post this on Instagram. Yeah, I don't, it's debatable. So there was the uh, Michael Halloween costume. Now there's their Abraham Halloween costume. Just get bloodied all up and then shove a fire poker through. And shave your head. Abdomen. Shave your head and dye your goatee. Tea. Guys, that's Judgment Day. Um, Woo! If it was insane for you, that's because it was insane for us. And remember what I told you guys in BTS. Whatever you felt filming it, the audience felt watching it. How's that feel, by the way, the fire poker? I, well, I don't know if you got, but like I shoved it up his ass a few different yeah. times, so that he's got to feel it intimately. Wait, what were you doing up his butt? Oh my gosh! Special thanks to this guy. We fucking, we fucking. Yeah, look, 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 
Uh, it's been a crazy, crazy ride. Um, as you can see, this was all known. Uh, if you watch, go back to the end of the demo slide, snap into it. Uh, you guys saw Uncle Larry starting to clear this room out. That's because we knew this was going to be a big set piece for the series, and we knew we had the finale in mind, knowing that this would be. Remember when he trashed this room with my green screen? And I took a shit. Oh wait, that was Isaac. Wait, but it's all. I am Isaac. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? I right, sorry, I have identity crisis sometimes. The special thanks to Uncle for offering right, up hey, the ability it. to 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 ruin the room here. It's a binding. It's a so binding are, we, are we putting a sports bar in here for you, Larry? Not in here. Yeah, give me a hug, Swift. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Special I'm thanks no. to this guy. We got, yeah. Ugh, we're stuck. He's stuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, guys, uh, he's been laying on the ground. We've been laying on the ground. We've been battling ah. for, for what feels like days. Isaac's dead, as you saw. And then Abraham's dead. As you saw, Archie's dead, as you saw, and this is kind of the end of our story arcs. Like, yeah. there's still the epilogue, Break Free, which kind of shows the third layer and everything. But as far as the main journey, the second layer with the VR layer, that's all, that all just ended. Um, luckily, luckily, it was all a dream, so it was all a simulation. This is all a game, luckily. But still, uh, we, met, we met the end of our journey here. Yes. What? Why were you doing the bunny ears after you were saying they're dead? Are they like, not dead? Well, because we died. I mean, you know, but... I don't know. You don't know yet, right? I know nothing. So this was all a game, guys. Isaac just killed the Overlord. Um, Archie was technically a bot, and um, he was protecting Isaac. So he was more of a moderator bot as opposed to the moderator you guys are used to seeing as kind of a player playing as a bot. So it's a little tricky. So use your brains, go back and watch the series. All these signs are there and stuff that the second layer, real life, was also VR. And who knows, even the third layer could be VR. Even this real life that we're filming this series in could be VR. It could be a simulation. This is a simulation. We're living on a flat earth. How would we ever know, you know? Until we die, maybe we take off the helmet. Like, we never would really know because it's that immersive of a game. It's crazy to me that we did all this. I haven't edited yet, but a lot of the footage I watched back while we we're shooting this and it came out really good. Shit, I'm about to shit. Oh, hey, hold on. Shit. <laughs> the titty bar. <laughs> yeah. with, with Cousin Eddie. Cousin Teddy. <laughs> Cousin Teddy, yeah, yeah. Uncle Larry knows when we were kind of conceiving the series that this was always the ending. To actually I was never hard. looking forward to this point. I know. You guys never told me I'd be laying on the floor. <laughs> yeah. This was the ending. This was uh, this was planned for the last yeah. year and a half, and to be here now it's a little surreal. Um, yeah. oh, and we didn't think we could do it. So guys, oh. as I've been Hello. saying in the BTS, oh, yeah. if you're looking at a scene like this, if you wrote a scene like this, and you're like, how the hell? Am I gonna be able to pull that off? How am I gonna be able to do that? I have no idea. No <laughs> clue. But don't worry about it. Just take it a day at a time, a piece at a time, and then when you look back on it all, you'll be like, oh wow, I was able to accomplish that. that. Yeah, and, right. and guys, we Jen and even Swift coming in this camera, man, how the hell are we gonna do this justice? Um, really, it's all an evolution. So just keep in mind that you might not know getting into the first episode how the hell you're gonna shoot the finale, but you better believe over the run of the series, you're gonna get better and better and better. Wait. And by the time you get there, you'll be able to successfully accomplish that. This was the finale? In my opinion, this was the climactic finale. Psycho Kid kills father, so to speak. And then episode 24, Break Free, is more of an epilogue. So in my opinion, the uh, the meat is over. Like, for me, this will probably end up being one of my favorite episodes, whereas episode 24, the actual last episode, probably won't be. It's probably gonna be pretty low on the list. Just because it's like, I think the audience will be a little confused. It's going to be a shocker, just as I always like having a big twist at the end of a series. But uh, it's going to require you guys to go back and, and, and re-watch stuff. And, uh, I think, I think this it. actually gives a little everybody what they wanted. They wanted me dead, I'm dead. If they wanted you dead, you're dead. Exactly. I don't think anybody wanted him dead, though. No, no. yeah. But I hope. Uh, but the cool thing is with the last episode is this is the ending that the devil wanted, whereas the... Epilogue is the ending that all of you guys probably want. It's a happy ending, and Isaac gets everything he wished for um, in the end because uh, it ended up not being reality. Oh, it's trippy, guys. It's trippy. We talk about it till the cows come home. But what is up, Joey's guys? I haven't filmed yet this week. Um, welcome to the Hawaii place. This place is awesome. We're shooting episode 
six of my virtual escape. Six? Which is? You only said episode six. The this finale. Is episode 24. This is the, f yeah, of season four. Of the finale, six times four. Nah, because every season has different numbers. But anyway, guys, uh, we're, this is the finale of my virtual escape. We still haven't shot an episode before this, so it just, it just doesn't exist yet. Um, as you guys know, we failed miserably. We did not get all the episodes done that we needed to get shot. So there's a group of 17 of us here. I didn't get much BTS of us traveling. You can watch other people's channels to see video. I think I think John Hagerty might have gotten some footage. I think Jesse Casilla, the J game, has some footage. Um, Dominic May, I think everybody has footage of this stuff, so you can watch that. But um, we're keeping it about my virtual escape here, guys. Um, so we have the helmets. We brought the helmets to the airport. Swift brought all his drone batteries to the airport. We're ready. To, all we need in Hawaii, so it was a celebratory trip. Sega Series 2.0, instead of Switzerland, it's Hawaii. Um, I like doing a destination finale, I think it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, guys, we have very simple scenes. We're introducing the third layer, finally. What? Wait, there's three layers? Yeah, Inception, guys, so it's wild. Technically, it could never end, it's just like real life. This is all simulation, when you die, you'll wake up in the actual, the next layer. That's just how it goes, guys. Like, we have no memory of what comes before or after this. Just that's how immersive this fucking game is, guys. It's wild. Don't think too hard about it, you'll lose your mind. But uh, Malachi and I, Isaac have been playing the game for I think only about like six hours or so, and they've experienced a whole lifetime of experiences. So many experiences that guess what? They're grown ass men now. We don't even have to do any, there's, there's no consequences in VR. So now, shit's good. We are developed human beings now. Um, we got to practice in a simulated life, so now in the real life, we're better acclimated to survive and enjoy it and live through it. So that's kind of like cool messaging about this, but uh, there's so much shit I could talk, there's so much depth to this there. I would love to just sit down for 25 million hours and explain kind of like what the fuck all this in, is means you can, and on implies. Twitch.tv slash McJuggernuggets. Exactly, guys, so uh, we're gonna shoot this stuff, this is mainly just a sound test, but uh, Sweep around, get a get a view, because this we have, I don't know if we've seen this yet on the McJournalist channel, guys. This is beautiful here. Um, I said, you know what? Lost is my favorite TV show. This is Oahu where they shot it. I was like, you know what? How poetic would it be if I got to finish my own series uh, in Hawaii, where my favorite series was shot? So that was that, and uh, it's pretty surreal. So we're gonna get shooting. We kicked everybody the fuck out so we can shoot this. We got a few hours to go. <laughs> How long were we playing for? Fuck. <laughs> you went full vegetable. That's that funny. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I told you, dude. The beginning of the ah, fuck. <laughs> we're filming. End monologue. It's not the end. It's like two-thirds into the episode, but in my opinion, it's like the emotional core of what this series is. We're doing a test right now. That's why Swift's revolving around me because we want to know which way the wind's going so that it's cutting in the mic because there's just a constant ocean breeze here, guys. I just got to say, go to Hawaii. It's the coolest place in the world. Um, We're just I coming back for vlogs in the future. Yeah, I couldn't ask for a better place to end this series. Just like Switzerland was beautiful. And here's the ultimate irony. We're shooting this finale Two years after the Psycho Series finale, it's literally the oh, same yeah, exact day. It's crazy. Dude. It's crazy, bro. Congrats, man. It's wild. Um, so yeah, guys, we're doing a little audio test, but uh, this is the emotional and kind of like moral compass and messaging and theme of this series. Eyes is gonna try and sum it up while leaving a voicemail for his dad or Joseph uh, about like what Eve or what my virtual escape, the game VR, has done for him. And the big thing is, is like. Isaac has experienced all his greatest fears, his nightmares, in VR, and now he's better acclimated to um, be a flourish, flourish the biz, flourish in real life. I just noticed the, some waves crash real high up here, so we'll strategically pick a spot, guys. So Swift but, doesn't um, take the camera. But I'm gonna try. You know, Jesse's probably gonna get emotional in the middle of the scene, as you guys have seen me in the BTS. This the series matters a lot. Um, We'll see what happens. Ideally, Isaac can squirt a tear out in the scene. That's the goal here. But uh, Isaac just needs to be uh, be able to appreciate. It's the Wizard of Oz effect. Needs to be able to appreciate everything that he has in this life 
because he got to experience one that was a lot worse. It's like, a, you know, it's a wonderful, all those great classic movies um, that teach you the good, the good old lessons. Hopefully it's not like, <laughs> and you guys can't hear shit, but I think we're good. If not, we will make it good for the scene. It's another audio test. We're closer to the waves now. I feel like I have to yell and project. We might end up flipping it. It feels like the wind's coming this way. So we might end up having you there. I don't know. Move over to here actually while we're filming this. It's tough guys, it's starting to sprinkle down rain. We lost the sun, so it's not as happy. We might reshoot some of this stuff, but we're trying stuff out, you know? That's, that's how it is, you've seen us. So we have to turn on I know, the mic. now you just start recording, go. He didn't turn on the mic. Stop. He didn't turn on the mic. He's probably gonna erase this from BTS, guys, but um, we're starting we're to get to the, in the end. Ocean. We're starting to get to the end of the BTS, but uh, yeah, that's, we just finished this scene. I was telling these guys we might come back out tomorrow or the next day. We only have a couple days left here, but we didn't get that picture perfect sunset that I was hoping for. It kind of had a different dark feel to it. Yeah. We we're saying it might actually be cool like that because we got to see the happy sunshine shit for a bit, but then there's that little dark undertone of like the emotional call after Isaac and his dad, which is like, you know, yeah, things can be happy, but like Isaac was pretty satisfied and was cathartic now that he's here and realizes that he's relieved all these bad things weren't real and they didn't happen but they still happened in his mind and as he might feel more mature and um, kind of like he's grown from it but he's still experienced those things so he still went through that darkness and that that doesn't go away ever you kind of just live with that you learn how to cope with it better as you get older in the closet basically exactly yeah so I don't know, it, it, hopefully it cuts well, we might shoot some stuff, so you might just see alternate alternate versions of this, but it's just such a cool picturesque moment, we want to make sure we capture it right, because once we leave Hawaii, we're fucked and we can't get it again. Well, I mean, um, us three could just come back. That's that's true, <laughs> that's true. Swift Street, um... Wait, no, 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 Shea Game Street. It's the Isaac and Malachi journey, we had somebody who's like incredibly, incredibly depressed, emo, and then Malachi was like handicapped and also like my rival and everything but then to see the two as friends in the end and they've always been friends and it's like they both kind of overcome shit and uh are on the other side of things it's kind of cool um but yeah shout out to this guy because we, we were talking while swift was filming but like yeah. tom abraham was originally going to play malachi tom ended up not being able to but jesse castillo actually came out for the cameraman audition was like, yo, you wanna be in a series? So he killed this role, yeah. guys. Cool. I did 110% cool. the whole series. He so I did. hope you guys enjoyed it, honestly. This whole thing was very important to me as for Jesse, so I, if I didn't put 100%, I'm pretty sure he would have been pissed off at me. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> now you guys know what I felt every time I was filming Shit. that. But not, yeah, yeah, but yeah, he's right, he's right. Everybody, and that's why, like, you'll see, I think we're doing a separate video or whatever, but, uh, we're all, we all got some level of MVE tattoos. I haven't got mine yet, but like, it's for anyone who's ever lost somebody and, you know, once an escape. And, and I think that you can safely say that's everyone, you know, whether it's someone really close to you or someone that, you know, you're uh, somewhat close with or, or maybe it hasn't happened yet. But you can watch this series and kind of take solace in it and find your escape within it and relate to some of the characters and hopefully, uh, through my virtual escape, the series. See, like we went through the VR escape and learned from it. But for you guys, the escape, the dream, the experience, the lessons learned are through the simulation of watching the series. And that's why art is beautiful, because you can learn shit from a TV show or a movie and from characters from others' experiences. You can learn from the mistakes of the characters and not have to make them yourself and just get some cool takeaways. Ramble over, guys. Hold on, time out, time out, time out. Oh, what does your Holy Bible say on the in the first page? I mean, the Holy Bible says make art and have fun, guys, and that's what we're gonna continue to do here. Don't be sad, my virtual escape is ending. Because what comes after is crazy. It's my, my most ambitious shit yet. So uh, get ready. Get ready for that. There he goes, guys. Get it. Oh, my. That's not a cannonball. That's not a cannonball, bro. What is that? He's just walking. <laughs> <laughs> cannonball. Is he getting knocked? Are you kidding? I don't think he wants to what put is the whole he? Body in there. Put the whole body Cannonball, in there. Cannonball, bro. What the? Fuck what is? Oh my! I can't put this up. It's gonna get demonetized. Jesus Christ! Oh, oh my! There you go, guys. Oh. I'm not oh, even gonna make fuck. a beach wheel joke. Yeah. 
Fuck yeah. Dude, you try killing me? <laughs> Dude, oh uh, yeah, well, you gotta close that truck, man. The sunlight. The sun? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah it's too dark. much. Yeah. BTS. Yeah, here, here, here. Dude, half of that was real. I All right, my, but you got some good stuff. I hit my head four times on that window. <laughs> did you? <laughs> was did you get good stuff though? Yeah. All right, yes. Was the bomb rattled? You good fucking shit. rocked me. I held the. <laughs> I was there, like, you almost that, fucking Jesse, knocked me out, like. Who, there was one point, I was like this, I went fine, hit that, and the hand stayed here on him. <laughs> yeah, one point my, my head, head literally was like... <laughs> Holy shit! Was oh, a bomb? Did you get able to get the bomb yeah, the rolling? Bomb. I got the bomb. I caught it with my feet. The bomb was like, feet. Right. You should have saw my face because I didn't expect you to go. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Dale Earnhardt Jr. on us. Oh, oh shit! Jesus! I was trying, so I was dying up front there. I was like, ah! <laughs> this is the road where we started the series. This is the road where it ends. Uh, Haven Road. Um, there's got to be something with it. So uh, Malachi and Phillips are not here, as you can see, guys. So uh, oh, word of advice: when uh, you can't. You can't schedule all your actors, your cast at once, or people are really busy. You schedule them separately and then cut the footage together. Um, so we're shooting all Adams or Dom stuff today and tomorrow, just because he'll be going to VidCon early. As you guys know, we'll be there. Uh, unfortunately, we missed our second goal of having the whole series done by VidCon, but at least we'll have everything shot by VidCon. Malachi is undergoing some extensive training, uh, the wheelchair. I'm doing it. He's doing it. You're a real boy. So guys, this is a challenging scene physically because obviously Jesse is not handicapped but he has to go from like speeding in the wheelchair to transitioning smoothly to jogging because this messaging I wrote like a year ago, I wanted to show the beneficial effects to virtual reality as well as just simulations and video games that they can actually teach people, uh, make them better, enhance their learning capacity and etc etc so jesse's getting his uh his sea legs oh jesus just trying to enjoy our final our final days here he's got some good speed i just threw him <laughs> yeah so i think we will <laughs> hey there we go we'll miss i'm gonna miss this series i don't miss it right now because it's been a relentless grind before vidcon it, it, it does stink knowing that you guys are not gonna uh, be able to see the finale before we meet with oh my oh my <laughs> Fucking A. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah. Nope, same thing. Fuck. Oh. Oh shit, what happened? <laughs> oh fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh <laughs> fuck! That was looks so good. Ah! Oh. Ah! <laughs> Guys, don't don't play VR while running. Just worry. It was funny. It sucked because it was looking so good, and then I didn't even realize either that we were already veered off. Did you get it though? Oh, I got it. I definitely got that. <laughs> People are gonna meme that shit. Oh man. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Everything everything was good though, yeah. <laughs> Guys, just so you're aware, if you were ever wondering, can they see uh, under the helmet? No. No, you can't. <laughs> oh This is uh what I have to look forward to when I get older, guys. <laughs> Actually, there is, uh, I mean, when you're like 80 years old and body's falling apart, I guess. This week I look forward to uh, yeah, I, Swift pushing you in a wheelchair. Yeah, but I guess you don't really, I can see you being an orderly, but I guess you don't. <laughs> ah! 
I, yeah, it's like in the truck the other day. I guess you don't have to really do anything for yourself at that point, which that's kind of exciting. You're like a kid again. Yay! Like you just shit yourself all the time. Yeah, and then you could chew my food for me, and yeah, I get yeah. to eat a lot of candy. I think Malachi's getting washed up. Yeah, he hit the pole, <laughs> dude. Guys, you saw that? That's crazy. All right, all right. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Dang, dude, he just rolled up on me like that. Oh, fuck. Uh, there's water on the lens. Yeah, 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 just give it a little. Is it more so that you're set for more out there? Yeah, right. Okay. Alright, Isaac, congrats. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, yeah. This is a little delayed. I was waiting. What through this you guys? Voicemail, boss. Ah! Glad you uh, <laughs> How was that? Congrats, man. I'm so proud. Oh yeah. I don't know. It's like a so. <laughs> was it? How was it on you guys' end? Oh no, he's so. Sound... <laughs> Abraham. Now I can't remember this line. What the fuck? So. Carry They didn't even bring yeah, it over to you? No, you would think they would. Martha, how's that burger? Could use some cheese. Yeah, I, yeah, it's pretty yeah. dry. Yeah. Dungeon's falling out of your head? Never happened, Marty. Ketchup, we got any ketchup? <laughs> take a bite, take a bite, take a bite. Marvin, you just ain't happy unless you're complaining. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How was that, Archie? As, this is good living. Mm. Take what? Well, oh, hi. Nice. <laughs> there goes mine. Behind the scenes. <laughs> yep. I told you I wasn't a good balancer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. The other glasses are going to be this big. All right. All right, just whatever you got. Yeah, so here. Yeah. The series wrap for Adam, for Archie, for almost Abraham, for Martha, uh, for Joseph. Actually, that's a big one. But yeah, guys, I, I wish we could spend more time in this moment, but it's a it's a rush rush day today. We gotta head over to uh, Candace's house with Eve for a last scene. Um, but yeah. It, I guess it's better that you don't process this, these types of things, but uh, we'll see you again. yeah, we gotta we gotta head out and uh, wish us luck. I, I, I hopefully I, we got enough coverage here because that just felt so rushed and I, I don't know. It's just like uh, I hope I got enough there, guys. So I tried my best in the time that I was given. Um, I just I really hope it comes together. It's hard working with a lot of people and you know it, it's tough. Everything's gonna be fine. You think so? I hope so. I hope so. Release them! <laughs> so remember, as soon as you hear yes you can, you guys are coming to these spots and then just looking to us. Yes you can. You guys gonna get on it or not? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, what are you Amazing. doing? <laughs> oh, basically yeah. I have to look at you. That's all right. That's a good blooper. Love it. I put it on the wall again. Oh, that's all right. We just filmed kind of the last scene of the series. It doesn't feel like that because it's been a grind, but... Eve! That's it! That's a series rep for Eve. Eve Give me a high five. We came this far together. Give me a better one than that. You missed! There it is! Oh, yeah, I'll get a yeah. Come on, give me a better one, Macy. Nice, Tommy. Can we give us some skin, man? <laughs> no, you do a pound. Is it cool? No. And that's a wrap. That's a series wrap for Rebexters. That's it, guys. I'm gonna move it. That's out. it.
But Isaac and her, Isaac, so just okay, to explain yeah. this scene, I mean, you guys will probably ask me questions about this later on, but like, we're kind of strangers, really. I'm just helping her build this treehouse, is what's happening here. Um, but it's cool. Eve gets to play with Rebecca's kids, and Isaac's sister gets to play. It's like, it's all happy, it's all wonderful, all the characters are alive. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe Isaac and Rebecca will get together finally. It's kind of open-ended. Wait, did she play Eve at all? Well, the interesting thing is, is that Eve put on the Eve helmet, so it leaves it open for a possible feature film or sequel, not necessarily starring Molly, but of a grown-up Eve who is now playing Eve. Eve. Exactly. Or perhaps a rival company's VR helmet, and who, maybe she's the next... All right, I'm spoiling my sequel plans already, but don't expect a sequel, guy. I just want to say that. Like, MV2 now! Nah, nah, but, uh... Thanks to these guys, thanks to Candace. Um, we, uh, we're gonna get down from here. Watch your step, guys. The stairs are pretty never steep here. I came up here. <laughs> so, Did you guys I are leaving from my treehouse, Elite Kid uh, Force Tom EKF. But these are the calls you gotta make, yo. You're trying to make a series, trying to make a feature film, any film, what have you, even a video. You gotta know when to settle, when to call shots, especially under timeline and working with other people. Like, you gotta know when to call them. And sometimes you might not be sure when. But you just gotta BS yourself and just say, you know what? Yeah, okay, that's it. I don't even know, but just, yeah, that's it. You know what I'm saying, guys? You know yeah, what I'm saying. we know what you're saying. You know what you're saying. I All like right. the BTS. Guys, I'm gonna miss you for the BTS. I like this. Mom. I'm gonna miss you guys for the BTS more than the series. Um. Cause I have to get to talk to you guys. Yo, yo, who is that? Dan Martha. Oh, gosh. What are you boys doing? We're, uh, we're just heading back. What are you doing? Heading back from where? We're just playing in a tree house. Treehouse. Yeah. Hey, that sounds like fun. Yeah. Yeah. I'm heading down Atlantic City. All right. Yeah. yeah you want to join me? Uh, I'm gonna sit down at those nickel machines. Yeah, they don't really have those anymore. They don't. No, they got uh, rid of them. Yeah, it's, oh, it's higher wow. now. You gotta have a dollar at least. A dollar. I could tell as soon as I said it's series wrap for Great Aunt Martha, she pulled away. She's gonna miss the character, guys. I'm gonna, Martha is great. It's hard to process, but I knew she was, I could tell, I could tell by looking at her. We're just messing around there, but, um, these characters are pretty iconic, so it's gonna be hard. I, I, I'm, I'd imagine playing a comedic relief, kind of cool role like that, you know, you're gonna miss that, and, uh, I'm gonna miss Isaac. Not, Ooh. probably not right away. It's gonna be refreshing, but then there's gonna come a time, probably a few months from now, I'll be like, ah. I don't know, I was, I, oh, fuck, I fucked that up. Yeah, so did I, it's okay. I don't know, I tried jolting him, uh, jolting him back with the helmet. Freaking helmet, but it didn't work. Wait, let's restart that. How can we do it for Isaac? How can we help him? Oh, fuck, I forgot my line there. Is it... <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah. Did it work? <laughs> I, I don't know, who the fucking government or something? <laughs> Wait, now, yes! It's a revolutionary. Uh, let me start that. Yeah. Uh, sorry. <laughs> that would be Peter the Fly from the second series, guys. He's also in this series. Where is he? I think he's attracted to Isaac's wounds. You think so? Because he's dead. But isn't that like food coloring? Oh, yeah, the sweetness. <laughs> Alright, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Oh, shit. Start again. I, I didn't. Yeah. That was a like free wish. Uh, make sure you remember you won the game. Congratulations, Isaac. Oh, fuck. Yes. Lord Abraham. <laughs> the Overlord. For defeating the Overlord, I uh, like something. Oh, yeah, his last word! Oh, that was so Abraham! Good. Uh, was that good, sir? Yeah, that was good. Ah, uh, fuck. Alright. Go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Captain Lewis Phillips. Did I get it right, Lewis? Yeah, yeah. Congratulations, Isaac, uh, to give him his final. Yeah, remember, I'm the for defeating Abraham. Lord Abraham. Oh! Damn! Yeah. That was just Yeah. yeah. Right. Roll No! No! My friend Leah! She's a bot! Wait, you're a bot? You're a bot? You're a bot? The funny thing is, off camera, I was like, all right, so here's the scene, and it's like, this is where we find out Leah's a bot. And Karina was like, wait, what? 
I nod was your head. Shook. <laughs> you were shook, weren't you? It's a little shook, yeah. guys. But I think at once you hear that, it'll be like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I think it'll make sense. Even though it's crazy, weird, and a mind trip, I think you guys will be like, yeah, okay. Alright. I thought it was gonna be like a happy ending. We ride out to the sunset, we're all front. Like yeah, so happy. And then it's like really morbid. Yeah. It's my. I mean, it is pretty heavy, heavy hey guys. series thus far. Captain Phillips is here, guys. He's the moderator. We're gonna head out. We got uh, a little bit more to shoot with Buzz, but that's it for Karina, guys. She's done. She's done. Doesn't she have a YouTube channel now? Does she have one of those? Yes, I do. We do? What? Wait, yes. am I on the channel already? It might be the thumbnail. Yo, guys, go watch that. Go watch that. I forget what we did. No, I remember now. It's so, guys, you don't want to miss that. What's so the channel called? Subscribe to Karina Cassidy. But I'll miss Karina. We became BFFs through this series. I'll miss you. You guys maybe want to see her some more? You guys want to see her again? I think that's a yes. We can't hear you, but that's a yes. Dude, a bot. A what? You ran me over. You're the reason I'm paralyzed. Ah, oh, fuck. I hate it. Huh? Yeah. Jess is getting tan today. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't kidding. All right, here we go. You're the only one left. And gave me V. I fucked it up. Yo, Jesse way as fuck. <laughs> oh, he snuck another one in there. Well played, sir. All right. Congratulations. All right. All right. I got a question for you. When the fuck are you going to get rid of that nasty ass, dark, dark ass, crack, creepy ass haircut? Damn you, Buzz. <laughs> in, right. in like a couple weeks. Come on. Please. I need them. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> Yeah! It's time to go no, home, baby! No, no. Yeah! Time to go home! Oh, what the fuck! Oh. That's a series. I'm alive. That's a series wrap. <laughs> That's a series wrap yeah, for yo, Jesse. It's crazy. For Jesse still, dude. That was Malachi's last moment, even though we shot out of order. Yeah. This is where we end up in Hawaii yeah, right Hawaii. here. But we already been there, done that. Um, Captain Phillips has one last Hawaii. shot at Uncle Larry's. Wow, we went to Hawaii. <laughs> uh, but Captain Phillips has one more, and then uh, pretty much tomorrow's the last day of shooting this whole series, which is pretty wild. Hey, there's Swift! Is somebody call for the sheriff? You know what would been cool, dude? If we had a drone for this one. Yeah, I thought about that when we were in there. Right, I almost sent you back, but we kind of needed the SUV and the shots. Uh, we started this series uh, yeah, on the yeah. same road, Haven Road. <laughs> Jesse got initiated by over here. <laughs> falling on the road fucking like eight times. Yeah, he had black. He oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He had yet to die. It. It's in behind the scenes actually. Oh in shit. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually I watched it. Swift uh, cut that together. But yeah, it's been a wild. This I started to feel it more. Cause like we did, we're just filming there. I think Swift was saying earlier, it's a little weird, right? Yeah, this is where we started, and this basically is what we're, we got two scenes tomorrow with the pretty, cops and Noah. So this is where we're ending. Yeah, so it's pretty, it's pretty cool. This kind of feels like a last day, um, but it's pretty wild actually to go through the whole journey of it. Um, it, it it both feels very long ago we were over there, but also not at all. It's very weird. Um, but Jesse's been a, a fan favorite. He's been one of our favorites to work with. Thank you. <laughs> Definitely going to be seeing more of him for sure. I don't know in what capacity, but uh, I think Malachi is uh, will go down in infamy as a very iconic character. Thank you so much for the love on Instagram, Twitter, all that. I appreciate you guys uh, feeling bad when I got my head smashed <laughs> and all that. You know, it was a wild ride, and honestly, thank you, Jesse, for um, believing in me and putting me in the series. So, thanks so much. Thank you, bro. Bro, good shit, man. Let's get out of here. Hey. See you, Haven. The real Haven. It's just as not glamorous as the other one. I That's a series I wrap for Mother Sarah. She's done. She can go fly away and now. It's 90 degrees out. 90 degrees. It's a good thing this was a short shoot, guys. Uh, it's semi our last day of filming for the series. We got one little shot to do tomorrow, so we'll pick up BTS for that. That'll be weird. Um, we leave for VidCon in two days, but that's it. That's it for Mother Sarah. Mother Sarah is actually alive and well. Yeah, and, uh, I'm so gosh. She seemed happy. She seemed happy. It almost seemed like she knew in another world or dimension she was dead. So I think there's some divine power there where she just feels grateful to be alive. I am alive. It's weird to see her walking and not a zombie um so i think that's the true takeaway from the series is like we saw her get murdered in season one this character from feels like forever ago is a okay guys everybody gets the happy ending um it's everybody's getting series wraps yo oh, sorry keep it down what do you want to phone dude
What's that? Are you on the phone? No, I was doing a voice recording. Oh, we can hear you, dude. I'm professional. <laughs> We're just fucking with you, dude. You're good. Oh. <laughs> How about how's that for comedy, bro? Oh god, I try to practice my uh, my uh, stand-up comedy routine. You, you know, do that at home in front of the mirror. God, yeah. he gave me a heart attack. I was trying to do the voice memo to like record what I just had in my head so I don't lose All it. All right, go back over there. Yeah. All right, we're still filming. Oh, okay. That's well, a wrap. that's a wrap. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. That's, a wrap. that's it. That's it. It's a bigger relief for you than me, but I'm still very excited. Is that to uh, with you. That's the last scene of the whole series, as far as the post credits thing. There's another last scene. We guys already shot that, so it's weird. But um, the crazy <laughs> thing is, that's a series wrap for both these two. Yeah, baby. Woo! The yeah. Noah and Abraham are no more. You, that's uh, it. Great job, dude. You no had more. a long road of it. We're done. That's, yeah, right? Huge so we'll, for you. So we'll do first Noah. Awesome job. Joe is a Thank fan you. favorite, uh, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Comedic everybody. relief for the series and just a great character. Thanks, Jess. And you guys saw uh, Joe was at the writer's room when we uh, were kind of going over this series like almost like a year a year and some change ago. Eternity wow. ago, it looks yeah. like. And it's now weird. we're at the tail end of it, which is weird. It's a weird phenomenon when you go from the conception to the ending. Yeah. Um, Especially because I know that that was my last one. Like I know, I know that it was your yeah. last one, but that was my. And I've invested a lot of exactly. time. Exactly, way this. more. Yeah, so now that we're done day. with Noah, series wrap. Nice job, Swift. Give him a round of applause. There he is. Give him a kick hey, to that no, soccer no, no, ball, catch. right to his nuts. Ready, right, catch. All right, so <laughs> But that's a series wrap for literally the Man. other yeah. the other lead here. Are I'm I'm glad I'm glad and I'm gonna be. Sad. I'm glad and sad. Because it's weird because we had a time. series wrap for Arachnid, but now this is the the actual core of that character, Abraham. Yeah. And yeah. now there's just nothing of the character. Yeah, it's and I, just... I actually can't wait to do a Q&A myself on my own channel so I could talk to some so people be, just about... So you'll talk about MVE, guys. So if you want to hear Uncle Larry's perspective on playing Arachnid and Abraham, check out Larry's Lounge. Um, he's going to be posting more because we can do that now. Cause yeah. Because Uncle Larry knows more than anybody the grind that was this series. Yeah. Um, so I'm assuming you're feeling pretty liberated. Yes. But... I will be sad. Yeah. I will be because the, the characters have become real. Yeah. And, I, and a lot of people, I, unless you're an actor, like you're, you're trying or trying to act, in my case. Um, I think you're until, until you do that, you, you actually become that person a little bit. Like, you know, you, you know what I'm talking yeah. about, Jesse. Yeah, yeah, And you got to live. You got to live with, like, all the experiences. Because, yeah, like, we're... And, and I think that's a good takeaway for the series. It's this idea of simulation is very real. It, like, it, the kind of... If it lives inside your head, the whole point is, yeah, we acted these things out. Yeah, Noah acted crazy and Abraham was struggling and doing all this. And Isaac had his depression losing a little sister you know, actually having to cry or be angry and all this stuff to channel these emotions, but then the brain makes connections to these false narratives, but makes them real for those moments. And then the bleed over, much like the bleed over from VR to real life in this series, it happens in reality for us. So oh, like, yeah. we feel like we experience all that. Like our final battle that we shot was like super raw and all those things when we look back, like, a year from now, I'll be like, yo, I feel like I lived a few different lives. Mm -hmm. And it was just such a weird experience that it stuck, it sticks with you as yeah. well. And, and, and despite whether they like you or not, is it mm -hmm. relevant as far as you as an actor because you become that person. So you have more sympathy for that person. I don't care right. if they're bad right. or good or whatever. You still know a little bit more than what they right. they know about that character. I think part of it with you guys especially is that when you guys are doing it day in and day out for such a long period of time and you've had... You know, your run here for the last, what, it's been forever, you've been doing it almost every single day. It's got to be hard to, you know, because you go to sleep at 3 o'clock in the morning after filming for 6 to 7 hours and you're dreaming like you're Arachnid, you're dreaming like you're Abraham, like, you know, dreaming like you're, you're Ozzy. So it I don't remember having like, any dreams, it was that short. Right. So, right. My sleep was like... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, you guys, it definitely becomes a party, I mean, there's no right, way around right. it. Right, right, right. No, but you guys all were awesome, I mean, I, it was really impressive to watch it from the outside. I think the whole um, cast impressive. was phenomenal. Yeah. yeah. Well, there might be a couple, but I'm not gonna mention any right, names. Right. But I mean, I think in general, the whole cast was phenomenal. You, you, and again, it goes to your direction because Motivator a lot of, lot of that has to do with you mm -hmm. to get them in the right place to be the right character to. Every, to do everyone thing. brought their A game. Like, uh, there's a reason tattoos were were had because uh, we felt a bond through this series. It all meant a lot to people, and 
kind of like what, what uh, Uncle Larry was saying. It was called him Abraham. Um, I know. This. Right? That's, that's, and there's there's a good example though. Right. That's how real we became. Remember, like when we were away, it's like everybody's calling each other their right, characters' right. names, like not Jesus, their real Jesus, names. Jesus, Malachi, yeah, exactly. Adam, Leah, like, Leah, Leah, yeah, yeah, Leah, Leah, Candace, that's right. is, John, is Rebecca, yeah, <laughs> John, is John, John, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, and it's just kind of a cool thing. I don't know, film is so cool. Just the fact that you can create something out of nothing, and it com becomes real. It wasn't. It lived inside my head for years, and now all of you guys not only have shared the whole journey uh, that we all went on, but like you know, years from now you can look back and we all experience. We had that shared experience together through this. Luckily, it wasn't real, but that's also kind of a takeaway of MBE. It's like it's all simulated, and that's kind of the message at the end. It's like you What's went real? you went through this simulation yeah. with us. Maybe now you can better handle your depression or, or losing yeah. somebody or whatever because you can feel related to the characters and kind of there's some takeaways and stuff so yeah these characters are our people they're they're friends you know they're they're people we we love to hate but also just like give you something to strive for because even for isaac it was very much became a revenge kick in the end mm -hmm. but it gave isaac a purpose right you know retribution for his sister and everything so it's just like no matter what you perceive of us uh it kind of gave you something to attach to for good or for bad or for indifferent. But hey guys, these guys got some beers to crack open. Oh yeah, you we know. do. And then we got some more stuff to shoot because we ain't done yet. I don't need that anymore. You for real? Yeah. You not know, tell my dad about this? <laughs> You're like, too bad. I'm yeah. gonna tell him. Archie. Oh yeah, hold on, stop. What's this about? We weren't supposed to talk? Nah. Okay. So let's just keep on going. Yeah. Let's, let's keep paying Swift to beat us out. Wait, what? That is a rap. That's an actual rap for Archie, guys. We were, It was supposed to be at the end at the barbecue, but we had so many people in so little time, we didn't get Isaac and Archie having a scene. So I was like, shit. Well, we were going to replicate it. So he, was, he wore the same outfit from the barbecue. We were going to just replicate a hug or some bullshit. But then I was like, you know what? <laughs> Like, let's just add a little something more to it, because this was a this character relationship was a little bit more present in this series, so I feel like it needed a little more justice done. So I just remember back in season one, Joseph and Archie just like the acquisition, trying to just get Isaac's weed and and mess with him and stuff. So I figured, you know what, this Isaac deals with weed too, but because of his experience in VR and Archie's influence, he doesn't need this anymore. So now Archie's gonna go home and smoke. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now for the spinoff series, Archie yeah. up in smoke. Yep. <laughs> Archie. Up <in> smoke. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. But that's a series wrap. Special thanks to Uncle Chris for absolutely killing this role. Uh, he's played played Archie quite well. A retired cop, and uh, I think became a great director. Character. Great cameraman. Oh, hey, hey. Hey. Uh, I'm doing more behind the scenes just because I don't want it to end, but uh, it's a cool message. So we just got done shooting Isaac sitting down here. It's in the music montage for my turn for Break Free, the final episode. And uh, Isaac's like holding the helmet and it's supposed to be actually more important than me being reunited with my sister. This is me holding the VR helmet because like, yeah, Isaac's sister's the backdrop of the series and the core fuel for him, the ghost, and, and what drives him throughout the series. But really, it's about the VR helmet. Like, yes, it is Eve, but I was explaining to Swift, I needed a moment to kind of get into character here. Cause 30 I, seconds before you take at least. Yeah, it's just so I can really get in the zone, because it's a very weird emotion what happens in this scene. I think the audience watching it back is like, Isaac gets everything he wants, he gets his sister back, he gets his family back together, he's happy, he has all his friends, he's gonna get Rebecca, everything's awesome, but then there's this dark edge to it of like, I have everything, so then what is, what is the point? Like, there's a part of him that actually misses the chaos, he misses the VR world, he misses all the craziness, the, the death, the destruction, all the all the wild events that happened throughout the series, he actually missed the excitement, the thrill of that, and now he's just kind of complacent, just like, now what? And I, and I was explaining to Swift, like, it's crazy to go from just like, super grateful, I have everything, but it's kind of that alone at the top feeling, where it's just like, I have everything I could ever possibly ask for, but yet I'm fucking depressed as shit. 
and that just happens. And for I think it's missing the hard times, which is crazy. Um, but the interesting thing is, is like what I think it really feels like, and to draw in the video game parallel with with the VR, it's like imagine I'm trying to think of a, a, like Skyrim or. Or, or Far Cry, or um, you know Fallout, or just like anything, or like Halo, whatever, whatever that game is for you, that big story-driven game, or that movie you love so much, and you're playing through. Imagine Skyrim, you're putting 100 plus hours into the game, and then you get to the end of the game, and you should be, because you're working towards that your entire life, or your entire, you know, for the whole few weeks you've been playing it. And it was the most fun you ever had, but you're you're still striving to get to the end. You get to the end, you finally get there to Haven. You beat the boss. You beat you level up. You max level and everything, and then you finish it. And then you're like, ah, I have an incredibly empty feeling right now, because I beat it and now I have nothing to do. I have nothing. There's nothing fun. There's nothing exciting. I have nothing to strive for. I have no purpose again. And really, this series is about Isaac finding his purpose through Eve and getting his sister back. But now in this world, the third layer, he doesn't have the purpose anymore. He has no drive. He has nothing putting, uh, similar to Joseph Calder said, he has no structure to, to, to lead the cattle along. And in Eve, he did. Um, so he misses that. And you could make it whatever game you want that uh, you miss playing it. And, you know, sometimes we'll go and chase those nostalgic feels and we'll go back and play through the game again. Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2. See, the Swift has that game. But... You'll never capture the same feeling, and you're kind of just living in the past at this point until you get a new experience or something that kind of reignites those same passions and whatever. But uh, it's an interesting feeling to play out, especially as Isaac. We're also saying you guys are going to have all this at the end of the series as well. So it's very much like, hey, we got to the finale. The finale was lit. We loved it. It was really cool. Uh, now the whole series is over. So it's that very bittersweet feeling that we're really trying to capture with this because, uh, you know, I guess the devil's a little bit right. We can't have all happy. MVE depression inbound in five, four, three, two, one. And oh God, 73 new tweets. Oh boy. Love the fourth wall break. Holy shit, I'm mind blown. Adam is still alive, by the way. Yo, Jeff, that was heavy. Well done on the whole shit, guys. Oh, I'm going to be absorbing all this stuff. I'm just having one of my... One of my emotional moments over here, guys. It's just crazy, guys. I never would have thought I'd been here. There was a version of myself that actually didn't make this series because I was afraid to, or I didn't think my cast could handle it. Just any number of excuses. Um, but there really, there is no excuse. Either you do it or you don't. Like, either you have the cojones and do it, or you're lazy, entitled, just don't feel like it, or what you come up with some rationalization or excuses to not do it. But trust me, if you wrote it or came up with it in the first place, that means there was something that drew you to it that clearly it matters for a purpose. Guys, I haven't eaten. I've been editing for nine hours. The grind. We're still in LA, but uh, I'm going to soak up all your positive feedback. I'm going to start cutting uh, episode 24, and uh, we'll be releasing that in kind of like five days-ish, and, and the series will be over. I think the helmets are going to be a huge success. That's great. I'm away finding a buyer. I think I might have one. Wait, seriously? Yeah, I'll see you next week. We're gonna have a fun time. We're gonna have some fun times. <laughs> I miss you, Mom. I miss you too. But guys, that is the uh, last shot of my virtual skate. This means it's the last shot of behind the scenes. I'm stupidly sick right now, guys. Um, I don't know, I must have gotten this from LA. I was not sleeping too much, because I was just, I was on a grind, guys. I was just like, this is not, not taking care of myself. And we have the live show in really two days, so of course I'm sick for my first fucking live show. Super pumped for that, but I'm grinding on uh, Break Free. Uh, the final episode getting that edited, it'll come out on July 4th, which I think is symbolic in of itself, because it's uh, independence, it's freedom, and it's Break Free, and it's also been one year since uh, Jesse Ridgeway supposedly broke free from the mirrors at Boogie's house. So I love, love having kind of symbolic days and whatnot but um that's it for my virtual escape guys hope you enjoyed the behind the scenes and i hope you enjoyed seeing the making of this series if you were a big fan of my virtual escape and want to make a series like that on your own maybe now you can do that um maybe now you see that like we're just normal people and anyone can do this and it's just a lot of fucking hard work but all right guys 
Don't forget to subscribe for more content. Twitter and Instagram links in the description. Drop some likes on this video if you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll see you in the future content on Rigid Studios and McJourney's YouTube channel, guys. Um, it's been a wild ride. Thank you for joining us. Why is Swiss Finger twitching? Uh, we're about to run out of SD card Is that what it space. was? Yeah. All right, well, I got the message the first 100 times you did it. <laughs> um, but guys, love you. Go get it. Go get the series. If you have any questions, hit me up on Twitter or whatever, and I'll answer them because uh, I want to see you guys make your own series. And I doubted myself in the beginning, too. But that's okay. It's healthy. But just go, go in and go hard.